The National Assembly Election Petitions Tribunal in Asaba Delta State has declared Undudi Elumelu of the People's Democratic Party winner of the House of Representatives election for the Anyocha Oshimili Federal Constituency. The court fulfilled the victory of Ngozi Okoli as, uh, of the Labour Party as uh, declared by the National Electoral Body, INEC. The court says Mr. Okoli was not duly sponsored by the Labour Party as he was not a member as of the 28th of May 2022 when the party's primary was held. The, the tribunal found that he was not duly sponsored. The second ground also is, as we urged the tribunal, the tribunal also found in our favor, uh, was that Honorable Ngozi Okoli was a public office. He didn't resign, he continued to collect salaries and emoluments. Uh, in breach of the law. We are now being joined by the former Labour Party House of Representatives member representing Aniocha Oshimili Federal Constituency of Delta State, Ngazi Lawrence Okoli. We'll be discussing his uh, dismissal by the election petition tribunal and his next political moves. Good to have you join us on Newsday. Thank you. Uh, thanks for honoring the invitation. Good afternoon. All right, Mr. Okoli. Uh, unfortunately, it seems that the uh, tribunal has come out with their decision. How is it possible this, for such an oversight on your part to not have any documented proof of being a member of the Labour Party? <laughs> that's, a, that's a huge joke because uh, um, how can I not have documents of being a member of Labour Party and my name was uh, published as a candidate of Labour Party? Um, I think uh, there is a lot of problem with the ruling of uh, the tribunal yesterday and uh, hopefully those mistakes will be corrected in the Court of Appeal. But uh, uh, the, 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 the fact is that uh, even though I'm not a lawyer, but at least I know what happened at my own person. I, I, I joined the party. I contested for primaries. I won the primary. In fact, I was a sole candidate. All the 182, 85 delegates voted for me. And we went for election. And after election, uh, the, the, the people lost. Uh, he lost with about, I, I beat him with about 22,000 votes. And I'm sure it was even more. But, but of course, they manipulated it and it uh, came down to 22,000 votes. And uh, we assumed office. And he went to a tribunal, put everything together. They claimed a lot of things. And at the, at the middle of the tribunal, they dumped their case and started pursuing uh, the issue of uh, qualification that I'm not a member of the Labour Party. Even though I tendered my, my membership card of Labour Party and uh, the form EC9 that uh, the party used to sponsor me. So I, I think... Uh, I, I don't know what to say, but I think uh, there's a lot of problem with the ruling. And of course, uh, several appeal courts and uh, Supreme Court decisions have uh, severally held that uh, the matter of party primaries is an internal affair, and they actually describe those uh, meddling into it as uh, meddlesome interlopers. So I think uh, by the time the wiser men look at these decisions, uh, would uh, come out uh, very, very much victorious. All right, then, if we're focused on the fact that, uh, you know, this particular uh, ruling says that you were not, uh, had not been registered with the Labour Party as of the time of the primaries. The second ground uh, that the tribunal also found in the opposition's favour was that you were still in public office, that you didn't resign and you had continued to collect salaries and emoluments, uh, which is in the breach of the law. How would you respond to that? <laughs> well, that's a huge, uh, another huge joke. I actually, in fact, I, 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 my name was removed from the payroll of Delta State in September last year. 
you know, my name was removed from the payroll. And uh, if you go to the government office now, you find out that my name was actually removed from the payroll. I resigned September 1, 2022. Now, um, there, there, I think there's an impress they pay from the secretary to government's office. I kept paying into one of my accounts that I didn't even know. And when I found out, I wrote to the accountant general of the state and refunded everything they paid into the account. And the accountant general re replied me, replied me acknowledging the receipt of the impress that was mistakenly paid into my account, you know. So I, 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 and those things were tendered in the tribunal. The tribunal did not uh, look at them because if they did, I'm not sure they would have ruled. In fact, the, the other party, nobody actually adopted any statement of oath. They dumped their petition and I don't know where, which evidence the tribunal used in giving their, their verdict. They did not adopt any single statement on oath. They just called two witnesses to tender some documents, and I don't know if that's what they used to do their ruling. Now, but that of resigning, I, I, I tendered the letter of resignation that was sent to the SSG's office, and they acknowledged it, you know. So I, 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 if they said I did not resign, that's a huge joke. If they assumed that the impress was being paid to somebody who have removed his uh, name from payroll, I think that's, that's a mistake from the government office, which I, as a good citizen, refunded everything to them, and they acknowledged it and wrote me a letter, acknowledging the receipt of the monies that were mistakenly paid into my account. And these things were tendered to the tribunal. So I don't know where the, the story is coming out from. Uh, will you be seeking for an appeal, or, uh, and also what is the state of your political activity? Will you oh, oh, be... Absolutely, absolutely. Will, will you be uh, looking to join absolutely. another party? Or uh, could you expound on your political ambitions? Well, um, I've instructed my lawyers to file an appeal to the ruling, if, uh, if, if only to correct some f facts. I think uh, we would file those appeals, but uh, that's where we are now. We are appealing the case, and by the grace of God, we'll get verdict on our side. You know, in fact, the word the accountant general used is erroneously paid into my account. So, and uh, those things were tendered uh, at the tribunal. You know. All right then. Um, you know, you have continuously described this uh, tribunal ruling as a joke. But uh, when we look at what the Petitioner's Council, uh, Drew Asanemem, described the judgment uh, as a correct exposition of the jurisprudence and the law. Now in section 65 and 66 of the Constitution requires that a person uh, be qualified to contest election in the House of Reps. He must, be, he must belong to a political party and must be sponsored by that political party. So are you saying now that even with the evidence that your team uh, your, 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 you know, your team had tendered uh, in this tribunal that the judicial system was still able to overlook the fact that at that time you were or you were not being sponsored or in your in, in your uh, defence being sponsored by that political party. Um, well, to start with, my name was published by INEC as a candidate of Labour Party. I did not publish my name. I did not uh, uh, publish my name by myself. So there must have been somebody that sponsored me to put my name as the candidate of Labour Party. I tendered my membership card of Labour Party at the tribunal. And I tendered the form EC9 that they used to submit my name, to transmit my name to INEC. So I, I, I don't see, they, they did not bring any contrary proof that I'm not a member of the Labour Party. And uh, they did not bring any contrary proof that the Labour Party did not sponsor me. The chairman of Labour Party came there and told them that I was the one that was at the primaries and that the person that they claimed came to supervise the primaries was not the person. In fact, the person they called there did not even show us any ID card that he's even an INEC staff. So we just assumed. Even the, the, uh, the Ndudi Elumelu, we also accused him that he was not a member of PDP and he was not sponsored by PDP. Throughout the trial, he did not show us his membership of PDP or the form that PDP used to uh, sponsor him. So 
who is right now. I showed my membership card. I showed my form EC9. The person that they claim to be representing did not even tell us that or show proof to us as a member of PDP or show us he's a form EC9. Or should we just assume that, uh, yes, he's being sponsored by PDP because he has money? Mm. We're being told that you were not uh, at the... Uh, I... Uh, at the collation center when the results were Excuse announced. I've uh, been told that uh, the sources have confirmed that you were not at the collation center uh, when the results were announced, that you were actually at home. So can you, um, can you further expatiate on that? Uh, <laughs> you have to. Uh, why would I know? If I was not at the collation center in Asaba when the results were announced, they would have done the things they did in uh, Iseluku and uh, Akukuibo in Asaba too. So I slept in the collision center two days or two nights, and uh, that's why we even had what we had there. You know, uh, they, 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 the places I was not, they were able to manipulate to an extent, you know, but in Asaba, we stood our grounds and they couldn't do anything. You know, and of course, everybody knows that we won the election. How can you even imagine that Labour Party will rig PDP? Is that, it's, 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 nobody, no wise person will even imagine that. So I'm sure that was why they abandoned the question of overvoting and all the crap they brought up before and started concentrating on their cocked up uh, story of uh, no, no, uh, no primaries or whatever. But how would a party even sponsor somebody without even uh, going through the process? So the party came there and said they sponsored me, I'm their candidate, and everybody knows I was their candidate, and they published my name on the 18th or thereabout of September last year. So they knew I was the candidate of the party from that time, and they waited till after the elections to complain about all these things. So I, I, I don't understand, you know, if the law favors some people and does not favor other people. Well, the party intrigue is quite intense, and the legal aspects of it uh, quite triangular as well. So what's the way forward with you, Honorable? Well, my way forward is uh, we have uh, served notice of appeal. I remain the member representing Aniocho Shimili, and they uh, would go to the appeal court, and hopefully the appeal court would uh, look at the case differently, because I believe there are wiser people in the appeal court. All right, then, uh, very quickly before we let you go now, I just wanted to... Yeah, I'm curious to know your thoughts about this. You know, until the recent emergence of yourself, uh, of course, uh, before this uh, uh, ruling by the tribunal, the federal constituency had been represented only by politicians who hail from Aniocha. So we're seeing past reps, uh, for, uh, including Delta North Senator Elect uh, Prince Ned Nwoku, uh, and then Honorable uh, Oyemachi Mapo from Aniocha South, and of course, the incumbent uh, Honorable Undu Dielumelu from Aniocha North. Now, you coming from Oshimili, South at supposedly uh, being the one to break the right. jinx that nobody from the Oshimili axis never, uh, you know, ever wins uh, an election to represent the Aniocha Oshimili federal constituency. Now, at this point, where you are now faced with this tribunal uh, ruling, what would you say about this uh, this uh, theory or this train of thought? Well, you see, um, the, we have the population. And for your information, the, 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 the judgment has not been ex executed. I'm still the incumbent uh, member representing Aniocho Shimili. We, we have the population. Our people have always supported PDP in the past. And uh, this time around, we felt that we should at least have one of those positions. You cannot take the uh, Senate and the uh, House of Reps to one local government. In fact, their town is about five minutes apart. So I think that's what the voters saw and then decided to vote for somebody from Oshimili South. And uh, thankfully, we won the election. And in fact, nobody is happy about what happened yesterday. And I don't think anybody will be happy. In fact, I understand some of my people were even uh, threatening today about uh, leaving the party or the other party and then looking for somewhere else that they will see sickle because uh, you cannot keep uh, maltreating people and be using their votes. Well, Honorable Ngazi Lawrence Okoli, thank you for joining us uh, this afternoon and all the best with the uh, results of your tribunal in the case.